The search for better automobile fuel efficiency in a practical, marketable, and even beautiful package took a giant step forward in 1992. With the introduction of GM's new ultralight vehicle at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. Ultralight is not only an evolution in cutting-edge technology, it's a revolution in the way the auto industry will think about fuel efficiency in the future. It required dramatic new thinking and demonstrates GM's ability to lead the way. GM's research and development of lightweight carbon fiber is a key feature in Ultralight's fuel efficiency, as its name suggests. But weight is not the only innovation that makes Ultralight the success that it is. This car is, is exciting in a hundred ways. This car is uh, designed to go over 100 miles an hour. As a matter of fact, 135 miles per hour is our projected top speed. Zero to 100 kilometers per hour, or zero to 60, in less than eight seconds. And it's got 100 design features. It is, it is really impressive. The car was conceived in a brainstorming session. We wanted to do a car that would get great fuel efficiency. And we needed to explore some new technology to do this. We needed to do a lightweight car. We knew that, so we, we got carbon fiber, and that gave us our, our, the weight reduction that we needed to help us get this good fuel efficiency. In this car, we've got a, an engine that weighs 175 pounds, but it produces 111 horsepower, uh, which gives the car an amazing performance. The whole car only weighs about 1,400 pounds. Now, this is a vehicle that is a four-passenger car that has the interior accommodations of, say, something like the Corsica today, a nice family size, compact sort of car. Mm -hmm. Something you might expect to see a lot of in the year 2000 and 2005. But it's uh, more than half, uh, or less than half, the, uh, the weight of a, of a car uh, like the Corsica. The fuel economy at, let's say, a steady state 50 miles per hour is 100 miles per gallon. It has uh, outstanding uh, aerodynamics to uh, minimize aerodynamic drag. We have a drag coefficient of 0.19, which is exceptionally low compared to today's cars, which are about 0.33. We've got level control, and uh, the vehicle will go up and down with speed, so that at high speeds, it squats down on the road further to lower the center of gravity. That gives you better stability and also reduces the drag coefficient. So it's more than carbon fiber and more than just emissions and fuel economy. At the end of the day, it's got to be a car that you say, I want to go for a ride in this car. I want to take this car home. An advanced GM two-stroke internal combustion engine coupled with a Saturn production automatic transmission is the basis for Ultralight's fuel efficiency. Well, uh, essentially it uh, produces all the power in two strokes instead of four strokes. Uh, you get a firing pulse every uh, cycle of the piston instead of a firing stroke every other cycle of the piston, and it uses no valves. Now, it's not a mystery. This is technology that's been uh, available for a lot of years. What is the mystery and what we've made some breakthroughs in is the way in which we manage the fuel and the exhaust so we meet emission standards. But ultralight is a lot more than just mileage. The headlights feature a central light source and the fiber optic feeds the light out to uh, lenses. Uh, we think that'll be on future production cars here in the four to five year span. The taillights are LEDs and uh, we're currently using that on some uh, high mounted stoplights. So uh, ultralight car showcases advanced lighting throughout the whole car. The ultralight interior features a virtual image display near the instrument panel and a high-mounted vent for the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning unit. Newly developed dual-flex seats provide the knee room of a mid-size sedan, and the web design allows increased breathability for added comfort. The gull-wing entry-exit system eliminates the B pillar and allows the rear passengers to easily exit the vehicle in an example of design-following function. The vehicle also has four safety airbags, one for each passenger. The ultralight is a technological marvel, but practicality dominates its design as well. The engine and rear wheels are a modular unit or pod. The whole mechanism detaches quickly from the vehicle. This concept could allow the customer to choose from several powertrain options. With the ultralight, for instance, we've looked at a gas turbine powertrain option, an all-electric powertrain option, a propane-powered option, 
And of course, what's in there right now is our two-stroke uh, three-cylinder gasoline powertrain. From a service perspective, you can imagine uh, uh, going in for uh, service on your engine or, or your air conditioning, by the way, which is also attached, pulling it out using a substitute pod uh, simply to get you uh, back to work or back home and coming back a few days later uh, and uh, converting or just staying with the substitute pod, keeping that as a, as a new engine transmission pod for your vehicle and uh, virtually eliminating the time it takes to service your vehicle at the, at the dealership. Ultralight is not your average car. But how did all that science find its way into this GM showcase? It took vision, research, and teamwork. General Motors has always been in the process of leading production with research and development. We always have to step way beyond what the requirements are today to look to see what's possible. The reason that General Motors is successful with its fuel efficiency in the marketplace today is because of effective research and development in the past. Advanced engineering staff also did the engine and driveline and suspension and steering. Design staff did the overall vehicle uh, architecture and uh, both interior and outside aesthetics. Uh, GM research labs helped us on our fuel economy uh, studies. Uh, also provide the material for the dual flex seats, uh, inland fissure guide on the advanced lighting, Delco electronics on engine management, and Delco products on the uh, air spring suspension. All four of, of our technical staffs worked together from the very beginning, identified the requirements for this car, sketched it out, modeled it, and then took it to production. And they did that simultaneously. You can't do that in 100 days unless you've worked as a team. There's an individual spirit in the design we do, and I think that spirit comes from the close-knit people we have here, the designers, the sculptors, the engineers that, that work together as a family, and they develop, they have a spirit of their own physically in the, in the studio, and a spirit comes through the car. We did learn some things on, uh, on this project that I think will filter into a lot of our other projects in terms of how to get them done quickly and uh, what decisions need to be made and when they need to be made. Ultralight's future is no doubt embedded in fierce competition. Still, it's a learning tool, and what it's teaching the world speaks volumes about GM and GM technology. Here's an example of us deciding to do something, us deciding to make a knockout vehicle that blows away the competition in the concept car arena. Uh, it's better than anything I saw at Tokyo. It's better than any anything I saw at the Frankfurt Auto Shows. It just tells you that uh, we have the capability to do anything. It is, of course, a, a, a kind of a laboratory for us, and uh, so its immediate future is going to be to, to continue testing and development. And then from there, I think that uh, we will continue to develop some of the other powertrains that we've talked about for the vehicle. And from there, we hope that things will proceed in bits and pieces towards our production cars. Well, the way we do that is we reach, we stretch, we learn from platforms like the Ultralight. Uh, to see what's possible and to develop things that might today seem impossible, but to make them possible within uh, a few years. It's through concept cars like the Ultralight that GM is putting new designs, materials, and technologies to the test. There is a commitment to excellence and a determination to maximize resources from everyone involved. There is much to be learned for the future of automobiles and the future of GM. Trying to get everything rolled into one package, I think, was, uh, was one of our major achievements here. And I think that says something for General Motors that the rest of the world uh, isn't saying right now. I've been in General Motors for 31 years, and I, I am always impressed with General Motors' capability. When we decide to do something, uh, there's no one in the world that can do it better. I know as a designer, I'm never totally satisfied, and we could always do things better. But I think this car is a packaging miracle. It's not every day that you come out with a concept car that makes a totally new statement to the world. Uh, and this has certainly done that, so I hope everybody's very proud of it. It's just a smashing design. It's just absolutely beautiful. I mean, it looks terrific. 